Good day everyone, welcome to today's lesson and today we will be looking at the central processing unit. In this lesson, we will be discussing the most important part of the computer, that's the CPU or the central processing unit. We will look at the components, what's the makeup of the CPU, we will consider the functions of the different components that will be identified, the arithmetic and logic units, the control units, and the registers. Now, what's the central processing unit? This is the very important part of the computer that we'll be considering. There is no computing device without a central processing unit. The central processing unit is responsible for all the processing operations in the computer. It handles all the instructions that we give to the computer. We are very much conversant with the simplest definition of computer as an electronic device that processes um, information received through the input device and then uh, gives the output through the output device. We are talking of the, the area that deals with the processing, which is very, very important. There is no computing without processing. So this part of the computer guides the computer through the various steps involved in solving a problem. The CPU is also called the processor or the microprocessor. And it's usually located on the motherboard. The processor speed is usually stated in hertz. And there is no device without a CPU, not minding the size, whether it's a mainframe, a mini computer, a microcomputer, desktop, laptop, smartphones, tablets, they all have central processing units. Now, what are the makeups of this central processing unit? What are the components? What are the different parts? There are three different parts identified. One is the control unit, second arithmetic and logic unit, the third one is the registers. Now we'll be taking them one after the other. Arithmetic and logic unit. This is the part of the processor that is responsible for actual manipulation of data. It performs all mathematical operations, just as the name implies, it takes care of arithmetic and logic functions and it's further divided into the two parts arithmetic unit and logic unit functions of alu the arithmetic unit carries out the arithmetic operations such as addition subtraction division and multiplication while the logic unit takes care of the logical operations such as AND, OR, or matching conditions as greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and all of that. The control unit. This, this is an important part of the processor that handles all processor control signals. It fetches instruction from the main storage, stores it in a number of registers, interprets the instruction and executes the instruction by sending command to the appropriate hardware. The CPU usually stands between the ALU, the memory, and the registers, fetching instruction from one hardware, interpreting it, and following up with the processor, with the ALU that we're processing it to see that it's actually processing it sequentially and in whatever order it should go. So what are the functions of the control units? They have been summarized as presented below. It fetches instruction from the memory. The CPU usually goes to the memory, maybe RAM or wherever the information or instruction is coming from takes it 
to the register so that the ALU can usually pick the instruction from there instead of going to search through and through the memory. It interprets the instruction, controls sequential execution of instruction, sends signals and commands to relevant hardware. That's the control unit for you. The third one, the third component of computer is the register. What is a CPU register? Registers can be defined as special purpose and temporary storage locations within the processor. What is this trying to say? The register is a kind of storage system that is found in the processor, is located in the processor. Other, other storage devices that's the secondary storage devices can be anywhere in the computer not in the processor the main memory which is ram and rom are usually on the motherboard too with the processor but this one is in the processor why is it there the register is meant to speed up the the rate or the speed of processing instead of the the processor going to get instruction or address for commands in the main memory or in the secondary storage devices it will just easily pick it from the register and then work on it so the registers are used to quickly accept store and transfer data instructions that are immediately used by the cpu and the contents of the registers can be more easily accessed than the other memory summary in this lesson, we've discussed the CPU as the most important part of the computer that processes all instructions or data for the user. It consists of three parts identified as one arithmetic and logic unit, two control unit, third one the registers. And we've also looked at them, each of them, one after the other. Arithmetic and logic unit performs arithmetic and logic operations, which can be addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. And then the other one, logic operations, that can be greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and all of that. The control unit is the controller it guides the operation of the alu the memory and the registers sending signals to and fro that's it so having learned all this let's look at the assignment what is a central processing unit the functions of arithmetic and logic unit as well as the control unit why are instructions for processing stored in the register thank you for joining today's lesson hope you enjoyed it thank you